All right, so we popped the frunk. Let's open that up real quick. Then the other thing you want to do is you want to open the doors because once you disable the car, there's no more power. So you can no longer open and close doors. So every door that you need to get in or out of the car during power down has to be opened. As you can see, every time you open the door handle, your window lowers. If your window can't lower, you can't really open the door. You can force it open, but uh, it will possibly damage this chrome trim here. <clears throat> um, also, you can close the doors um, as you have no more method of opening since they're electrically releasing. So we're opening this. We have got these doors open just in case we need to get in or out of the car. Then the next step is we got to open the front cover here. This cover, you can just grab it, reach under there, wherever you can with your fingers, pull it up. There we go. And now we can see the battery. So this here is the battery. It's a regular 12 volt car battery, nothing special to it. This here is our ground connection, which we need to take off. In order to do so, we gotta loosen up this nut here that requires a 10 millimeter wrench, and then we can lift that off. Okay, so got a uh, 10 millimeter wrench here. Going down here. Uh, lefty loosey, righty tidy. So we're going for left, counterclockwise, and it's loose. Pull it off. There we go. 12 volt battery disconnected. Now, we need to go back here and we need to pull the seat up so that we can get under this side here, under the passenger side. That's where the plug is that we need to disconnect. This will be a little hard to see. So I'm going down here. I got a feel under here. Right there is this little clip, pull and pushing it over. Then I can lift it up. And now you can see this white uh, part there with the black latch in front of it. That's how you loosen it up, just by sliding that over. I'm gonna do the other side, and then I can show you that much better. <clears throat> it's easier if you unlatch both sides. So let's go down here. See if I can find it. There it is. All right. So then the seat will hang up on the belt buckles there. You can just kind of pull, bring it up. Okay. So now we got it completely loose. Now I'm on the on the driver's side here. Um, you don't want to fiddle with orange okay orange is high voltage so we don't need to do nothing there whatsoever there we go let's go back over to the other side passenger side that's where we want to be right here pull this up and this is the plug we're dealing with. <clears throat> this gray uh, part over here is what locks it in place. And we just pop it over to the side, press it all the way down. As we're pressing it down, it already starts coming up. And you heard it pop and you see all the lights go off. So that opened up all the contactors. And now power is completely shut down to the car. Everything's dark. Screen is dark, no lights, nothing. Um, completely out. And uh, 
so that's why we need to keep the doors open no more lights here in the front either everything's dark so you can give it you know five ten minutes like this just leave it sitting you don't have to stand next to it it won't do nothing and then we'll be reconnecting it let me show you these latches a little better a little hard to see so right here this here is the little latch that we're releasing under the seat so when you go in basically you're looking for this so you can push this over the seat this part here will go into the slot here and this will this little lever will lock it in place so that's what we need to push over to release the seat so now that we <coughs> have it up we just uh, to put it back on we just push this piece on the seat into this slot and it will automatically lock on its own all right so now we have to reconnect it so we're gonna put plug on there push it down bring that gray lever all the way up to lock it in place and then put the black cover on there then we got to put the seat back in place so we will make sure that this buckle here is up and through and then you have two fixed buckles underneath this is a little tricky to do here with one hand you <clears throat> gotta work these buckles through there um, would be much easier having two hands but I gotta hold the camera somehow so same thing over here holding the buckle in place there we go and it already latched go back over here there we go and now we got the seat back in now we can go to the front and now we can reconnect the ground the car will power up so you will hear some clicking going on lights coming on there may be a little tiny spark at the battery that is normal and then just tighten it make sure you don't tighten it too hard um, basically just tighten it until this really doesn't move anymore now we can put cover back on just kind of line it up yep. and it'll fall into place and you just kind of push it down like that so all the clips clip into place there we go that's back on and now your car is all back up you gotta close that here with two hands in a second but so your car power back up your screens back on you can close the doors and so hopefully this did help and reset um, the fall coats you had so it's ready to drive again and I hope this has helped you some so this like I said anybody can do this you need a 10 millimeter wrench to do so um, really simple to do uh, we have to do it every so often it seems like the mobile tech has told me that you know if I experience problems I really should do this um, before I even bother to call anybody because most likely they will have me do a, a level 2 reset with the power down and if that doesn't work out they would dispatch 
the mobile service, but mobile service is four or five hours away and may not have time that day. So they, they may be two weeks out before they even would show up. So for us, it's important that we know it here. So if you're somewhere away from a service center, this is a simple reset you can do yourself. And this may cure all kinds of issues that you were experiencing and you'll be good to go again. This is just like resetting your tablet, cell phone or computer, no different. Uh, most of these little issues uh, can be cured like that. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click the like button. Please subscribe to our channel. We have more Tesla videos coming. Um, ours will be slightly different than some others. As we experience different issues out here in rural Montana, um, when we need to tackle some of the issues ourselves here, also we'll have some winter driving videos <clears throat> as we have long winters with lots of snow we experience some problems a lot of people do not experience further south in warmer climates and so we'll be making videos as things come up like this we also have videos about our farm our critters and other things around the farm so please if you haven't done so yet subscribe and uh, like these videos. Thank you for watching.